Hello everyone, I'm Marcus Ward and thank you for tuning in to the Marcus Ward Show. Please, I hope you enjoy, I hope you like, I hope you share, and definitely I hope you subscribe. Hola, mi nombre es Lucas Haas y tú estás viendo el Marcus Ward Show. Mi nombre es Egalo y estás viendo el show de Marcus Ward. Watch the Marcus Ward Show on YouTube. It's the greatest of all time. That got confusing. Last terrible. <laughs> terrible that was. <laughs> terrible that was. Someone mentioned to me being black and Hispanic mix is the worst combinations to be in this mainstream society just because of the stigmas that come with being black and the stigmas that come with being Hispanic. Black and Hispanic is like the worst combination ever. Like, those are the worst races ever. Like when you hear people talking about uh, good things we, we are never mentioned. So uh, I feel like those two uh, mixed together in society's eyes is a bad combination. It was that statement that inspired me to ask, what defines a Hispanic? I'm half Puerto Rican, half American. I'm African American and Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. So Puerto Rican. Shout out to all the Dominicans watching. Puerto Rican boy. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Portuguese. I am Mexican, Salvadorian, and Japanese. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Panamanian, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, I'm considered black. They call me Negro. I'm from Venezuela. I'm black and Dominican. I'm Puerto Rican. The challenges of being biracial. It's like, where do you fit in more? Actually, like applying for jobs lately. That's why I fill out like these surveys or questionnaires. Either Hispanic, Black, or other. And I'd okay. be finding myself filling out other. other. But it's like, why other? There's people like me that are. African American, but also Hispanic, and I don't want to choose, well, just African American, not Hispanic, but then I don't want to just choose Hispanic origin and then none of the above. So what do you choose then? I actually choose the other. They're choose using the other. other, and I'll write out two races. Because I'm not just one, I'm mm -hmm. both. Other makes you seem like, oh, this is just another option. This mm -hmm. isn't real. Like, yeah. You know? People just assume it's easy or something like that. Mm -hmm. But like when I, I go like when I go to fill out like mm -hmm. um like for scholarships, sometimes I don't qualify because I'm mixed. You get treated you get treated differently. People are gonna judge you for who you are, but they also judge you on how you look. Because I look like a mix of everybody, we just assume it just because I'm dark skinned, like, oh, like you're like you're black, but they also look at my hair like, Oh, your hair is so long. Then they're like are you Indian? Oh, your hair is so curly. I'd be like, oh, I'm Puerto Rican. Maybe like, like that. So my father's an African American, darkest skin tone. So they started just going and saying, oh, look at him, he's black. So I got more racism against being black than I did being Hispanic. If you maybe mix with American, like white predominantly, I guess, then it's you have people who seem to like be okay with it and stuff. But if you're anything else, if you're um, black and the uh, black and Hispanic people do treat you a little bit differently. Would you say being white and Hispanic is easier than being black and Hispanic? Honestly, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. Black black people get a lot of discrimination nowadays in society mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more than Hispanic. Bueno, siendo para mí siendo moreno o negro mezclar con otra raza, vamos a decir uh, gente hispana, mexicano, puertorriqueño es más difícil porque Pues la gente no mira mal siempre, han, han visto nosotros que, que tratan a los hispanos diferentes y también trata a la gente morena diferente también. Eso es como una mezcla de dos cosas juntas, dos cosas negativas, o como quien dice, negativas en los ojos de la, de la gente que, que nos juzgan a nosotros, pero son dos cosas que son no tan lindas en los ojos de otra gente, que están mezclados juntos y hacen una cosa grande que no es lindo. Y para mucha gente aquí en Estados Unidos le pasa eso que la gente nos mira mal por ser diferente, por ser moreno, por ser hispano. Si tú no eres blanco, mucha gente te miran diferente y no te dan las, las mismas oportunidades que le dan a la otra gente. When did you know you were biracial? Wow. Probably when I was in middle school, so about 12. And nobody ever told me like, yeah, you're Puerto Rican and black. I asked my mom what I was, my mom's like, you're mixed. I found that out when I had to take state testings and my mother who, she had told me, that I was actually by a multiracial. So then when I fill it out in test, instead of saying what the nationality is just black, you put M for multiracial. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? <laughs> it's a <her> question. 
Actually, okay, <laughs> believe it or not, actually, what do you see? What do you uh, see? Believe it or not, I actually see, I actually see more black. I see more so African American. When you look in the mirror, you don't see a black man. You don't no. see. I just see myself. What features do you see that's black? Oh, my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, my hair. Um, that's the first thing that gives it away. I think I look. I think I look Hispanic. Some people say some people say I look black, but I think I look Hispanic. I look, I look both. Do you see a biracial Hispanic as biracial, or do you consider them Hispanic? Honestly. Well, to me, I say Hispanic, but they don't. What What do you think they say? They don't even accept the culture. Like I've met a lot of people that are biracial, but they don't even say that they're Hispanic. The biracial people who act like they're trying to be Spanish, we call them, you know, they're fake, you know. In Puerto Rico we use the word feca, like it's fake, you know, you guys are fake people. I think that they are just Hispanic people, not mixed. Do you think it makes a Hispanic less Hispanic, per se, if they do not know how to speak Spanish? That's a tough question. Well, I'll pray with them with the I don't, I don't think so. Um. No, I don't. I don't believe so. No, never. No. They're Hispanic either way, you know. They have it in their blood, you know. But there's no way of discriminating them if they don't speak it. In a way, I can. I can. I've. I've said that to people because of the fact that it's just something a part of you that you do not have, you know. Of course, uh, Puerto Rican people they like music, the food, the the culture. I view myself as a Hispanic in the way of culture, but through language, I don't see myself as Hispanic because a language should not dictate whether you're this or that. If you don't speak even Spanish, then it's like you're just a happy person, I guess, you know, you're just somebody. If I go with somebody that's Spanish, they'll be like, oh, you speak it? So I'm like, no, they're like, oh, okay. Like, mm -hmm. They'll brush it off. Like, it's like a whole like type of brush it off type of thing mm -hmm. from both sides. And sometimes it's like, oh, should I just be like, nah, should I just leave that Puerto Rican part out? Do you think the Hispanic community accept you as Hispanic? I believe so. You believe so. Do you speak Spanish? No, I do not. Do you speak Spanish? A little bit. Very little. No, I'm a Hispanic. I don't speak it. I think it's a little bit of a letdown, to be honest, um, that, you know, that you don't know how to speak the language. You, know? you don't have to speak the language as long as you try to learn. You can learn it if you want to, but you're not obligated to Do learn. you know the language, though? Fluent. Spanish. I don't know it fluently. Okay, um, I don't like it. Um, I think that every Hispanic should want to learn their language. Mm -hmm. Um. It's mostly a cultural thing to me. You don't need to learn, um, you don't need to speak Spanish every time. Basicamente, si, si tú eres hispano y no hablas español, pues, no sé, para mí te quita un poco de los hispanos. Si tú eres puertorriqueño y no sabes hablar español, pues es una gran parte de lo que, una gran parte de, de lo que es ser boricua, ser puertorriqueño. Na, nuestra forma de hablar es diferente a, a la otra gente. Como una persona de Nueva York tiene un acento y la gente del sur, the South, you know, tienen un acento diferente, so, todo depende, para mí de verdad, si tú no hablas español, es como un insulto a la, a tu, a tu cultura, a tu, a tu ser, ¿sabes? I still, com like, completely think I'm a full Hispanic, only because I, just like how I said, I support and I stand by what I say, and I know that I am a Latino because no. <laughs> and I think that I all right, mommy. By what all I right, say, mommy. So okay. Okay. listen. All right, all right, mommy. All right, mommy. All right. Just because I don't know to speak it all the way, I still stand by the fact that I'm not Dominican. You see a lot of people that call you fake for not knowing Spanish. They call me white or they call me a fake Spanish, like because I don't speak Spanish. But that's just because like my family can, my like extended family can just be really rude. Because they think you're supposed to see Spanish, but in reality, I don't think so. En mi punto de vista, eh, hablar el español eh, por natural es depende de donde uno crezca, donde uno de verdad se críe. Y es depende de mucha de su familia. Si su familia este, piensa que no es necesario, no es 100% necesario, pues no va a ser like, eh, interesante para uno aprender el español. I do sometimes feel like limited and like excluded from the Hispanic community because you don't speak Spanish. Yeah. They have to to know Spanish to communicate. 
es because they native, they native language is from the country. Que son hispanas, este, no es que tienen que saber a juro saber a, a hablar, a hablar español, pero deberían saberlo ya que su idioma nativo es eh, español y para comunicarse con otros tienen que saber ese idioma. En school, were you drawn more to the Puerto Rican kids or the Panamanian kids? There wasn't many, many Panamanian kids. It was kids, a Panamanian, so. okay, yeah. so Puerto Rican Puerto kids. Rican. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> Two, 80. Okay, all right. You do the math. I'm with everybody. Indian, Pakis, Middle Eastern, Pakis, Iraqis. Yeah. That's what they call it. <laughs> what are the stereotypes of being Hispanic? The stereotypes? So, let me get started. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, why do you laugh? Why do you laugh? I, I've been at the end of a lot of them. Puerto Rican people are lazy. Lazy, uh, being called Mexican is one. You told me that I look Mexican. We started talking one day. Most people think that usually they work from like from Mexico or Puerto Rico or something like that, but there's more countries. Mucha gente creo que so que somos mexicanos o que somos boricuas o dominicanos, pero hay hay otros países también. Being loud, being messy, um, working, stealing jobs, being an immigrant, an alien. There's too many of us that were coming over here. We're not staying where we're supposed to be, even though as a Puerto Rican you're you're an American citizen. If you're Mexican. A lot of people like to say that you're, you know, that you're, you're an illegal person, that you're a horrible person automatically because you're, you know, entering the country illegally. They come here to work and they work the jobs that none of us will necessarily work. That we're not as qualified as Americans, because somos no a la par con americanos. Always eating rice and beans, being super loud, um, big families. If you do know Spanish, you could be stereotyped of being a, a big. We're a little bit wild in a way, but. It doesn't mean we don't have any sense, you know, but there is a large portion of people who do a lot of crazy things in terms of with vehicles and a lot of drinking and stuff like that. So a lot of people think that um, we're abusive people towards our women. If you go to Mexico, there's people who start drinking since they're like 12, 13 years old. The same thing in Puerto Rico, people are young and they start drinking a lot. You tend to lose your, your patience quicker. You tend to be more violent, more aggressive when you're drinking. They think you're loud, you're crazy. Um, you're really difficult, especially females. They really think that the female Hispanics can be super difficult. A lot of women in Puerto Rico are, are strong women. They, they, they're not afraid to hit a guy. One of the things that they say a lot of the Hispanics is that, of course, the people who are Mexican, who are illegal, who come to the United States illegally, well, a lot of people think that they're coming here to pa, pa, pa rob us the benefits. But in reality, these people come here to work. Para, para trabajar. Si tú has ido a México, hay muchas cosas lindas de México, pero en realidad hay muchas cosas por la pobreza por allá es una cosa por este mundo. Y pues mucha gente viene para acá, cruzan el border, el border, eh, la frontera, para hacer una vida mejor, para trabajar los trabajos que nadie quiere trabajar acá. Especialmente la gente que, que, nos, que los juzgan a ellos, le dicen, que, le dicen nombre, le, 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 los insultan. Son gente que básicamente no quieren trabajar en sus trabajos y la gente mexicana o mucha gente de Sudamérica trabaja en sus trabajos. Pero en el Caribe, pues, y en general con la gente hispana, mucha gente dice que lo, lo, los hispanos son, porque somos un, una, una raza, como quien dice, que somos bien machos. El machismo en, en la cultura hispana es grande y pues mucha gente piensa que, que no somos, somos bien fuertes con las mujeres, que abusamos de las mujeres y han vivido Uh, um, yo, yo he visto casos que, que es así, pero tiene que ver con la gente que bebe mucho y cosas así también. Pero no todo el mundo en Latinoamérica abusa de las mujeres. So you're saying English speakers accuse Spanish speakers yes. that they don't know how to. Yes. yes. So would you say that's a stereotype? That is a stereotype. So are you saying I'm stereotyping you? Yes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> it no, I'm is not. a stereotype. No, I didn't. How? Oh, what did I? What? That is a stereotype. No, but I, I didn't stereotype you, Yes, though. you did. You said, ex you asked him, explain to her. The cameraman, uh-huh. Yeah, in Spanish, even though I can perfectly speak English. I'm, lo siento, lo siento. I didn't mean it that way. And I'm, that's another thing. What? You say that in Spanish, even though you could have said it in English, and I understand you. Okay, well, in my defense, in my defense, I am studying Spanish. Okay. Okay, so I do try to communicate with the people. And I actually right. know some Spanish. That's one. And two, I do apologize if you felt that way. I was explaining and then... I'm just letting you know that that actually happens a lot. Okay. <laughs> what are the stereotypes? Of black, oh, 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 I got one. Black, all black people can play basketball. He's big, he's black, he's dumb. 
And then as soon as I get into class, they just think a whole different thing. You see, a black person is wrong. They, you know, they, it's not good. They're going to just like steal things from me. It's not true. I can tell anybody, parent, any any parent, it is your fault for not teaching your your child Spanish. My parents didn't teach me English for many reasons, and one of them was that they wanted to speak about me in Spanish. They wanted to speak. Yeah, they wanted to speak about me in Spanish. So yeah. in this yeah. case, if you ask your parents and they still didn't teach you, then it should have been you to be like, hey, teach me. I was a little too young to say that to my parents. Hey, teach me. No. Because I feel like a lot of people, they lose their culture. They lose who they are. They come over here and they're like, I'm American. I'm American. You're not. I'm American. You're not. I'm not. Well, you are. I'm Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Well, Puerto Rico is a territory. Puerto Rico is owned by the United States. But they're States. debating making it a state. That discussion has been going on for centuries, for like decades. We won't be a state. But you're a citizen. Because I was forced to be. So, given the choice, would you be here or in Puerto Rico? I would be in Puerto Rico. After we finished rapping, Joseph did get a little heated, as you can see. Um, you know, this is what he said. And she wasn't answering the questions truthfully. He felt that my interviewee was personally attacking him because he didn't know how to speak Spanish. The way she was talking was completely like, you know, her opinions were, you know, um, that's what she kept looking at because she knew that I don't speak Spanish. If you got offended, then it has a bit of merit. You know, maybe there's a little bit of truth behind it. So that there you don't think there is. I interviewed a father and son. Daniel Sr. was born in Puerto Rico and he fell in love with his high school sweetheart, a black woman, and they had a child, Daniel Jr. I spoke to them about Daniel Jr. being mixed heritage and this is what they had to say. I consider myself Hispanic when I need to be or mm -hmm. in certain situations and black in certain situations. So what does that mean when need to be? I probably consider myself a black man if I'm with other black men who mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Honestly, I feel like I relate more to blacks because as friends, I'm more attracted to the black community, I feel like, because I have a lot of black friends playing basketball. As far as women and girls go, I feel like I go more for Hispanic. And I feel like since I'm darker skinned, I feel like I can relate more to that side. Do you ever wish you were lighter skinned? That I also did when I was younger. I did think about that a lot. Maybe if I was lighter skinned, I would fit in more with my family or mm -hmm. the Hispanic mm -hmm. crowd. Do they ever tease you, like call you names because of your complexion or? Yeah, I had an uncle who would jokingly, he would call me sucio, which means, it means dirty in Spanish because of my skin color. But um, I used to take offense to that as a kid. I didn't really like it. Definitely, I'm sure he wouldn't. He didn't realize how much it did affect me. I actually have a story. Um, when I was younger, I went to a summer camp. This little boy, and I would always consider him my friend. And his mom actually worked at the at the camp, so he would always say, "Oh, I can get my friends uh, free sodas and stuff." Mm -hmm. So I asked him one day, and he's like, "No, you can't get a free soda. You're too dark." So I was like, I didn't feel good about that myself, and I was like, yeah. "So what am I supposed to do about that?" And he was like, "Oh, you need to take naps in the shade." He actually really? said that to me, which was crazy. Wait, so how old were you? Hmm, I was maybe around eight or nine. Just being darker in general and having a family that's Hispanic. Mm -hmm. And since I didn't really grow up with on my mom's side, she's the my black. She's uh, black, okay. Right? I grew up on my dad's side more, which was Hispanic. So it's like I'm the only one in the family child that's darker and mm -hmm. everyone else is like lighter skin. If you have children, what would you say to your children about race? Whether they're my complexion or whether they're lighter, I'm going to say uh, America's going to look at you as a black man. What does America look at you as? A black man. When you look in the mirror, what do you see yourself as? I don't really see myself as uh, ethnicity in general. I just see myself as Daniel. So mm -hmm. like, I'm not But I mean, I, that's the politically correct. Right. It is. You know, because I'm sure of some sort we all see color. My eyes say can kind of say that I'm not really 
African American uh-huh. and um, my height because you don't really see a lot of Hispanics that are that are tall. Okay. A lot. I'm How tall are you? I'm six or six one. My hair definitely. Let me see. Just, take take that off. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Cameron, man, you getting this? Let's see. I don't really do anything to my hair. It's okay. Just like, are you like, growing it like for dreads or just growing it? I haven't decided yet. Oh, ah, oh, come on, man. So yeah, you go to that side. My Hispanic <laughs> side is like, no, we don't want you to get dreads. You're going to look like, oh, you're black. Do you think your mother prepared you to be black in America? She's not really the blackest of black. Mm-hmm. When I black? say that, like, culturally, not really as skin color because... Mm-hmm. Of course, she was like, um, she wasn't the typical black mom that would like beat you or be stern. Mm-hmm. She was actually more, um, she enjoyed listening to rock music, stuff like that. She taught me how to just be a minority in America, not mm-hmm. necessarily black. What is the hardest part about being black? The hardest part about being black? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's a good question. Mm, the way people stereotype or look at you assuming that you're going to act a certain way or be a certain type of person because you're black. So do you think it's a curse being biracial? Mm. No, I don't think so. What do you think are the challenges for your own side? Um, that's a good question. Uh-huh. Um, I've always thought maybe the acceptance. Because he, he doesn't look like you. Right. You put side yeah, by yeah. side. Mm-hmm. It's, it's never even been a thought. It never even never even crossed my mind. Never even thought of him being either black or Hispanic. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Do you think things will get better though in time? That you know this society won't look at color. It won't be a factor. Honestly, I don't think so. Do you think you prepared him for being black Hispanic? My goal was to prepare him as a man. As a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Regardless of. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, him being Hispanic. Mm-hmm. But what do you say to the Hispanic community or to the black community that say you're not Hispanic enough, you're not black enough? Don't try to judge me if you don't really know who I am. Um, if you're truly my friend, you're going to accept me for whoever I am or whoever I want to be. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed.